In the Middle East, the proxy war between Israel and Iran is unfolding at full speed. The Israel Defense Forces, IDF, target various positions in Syria allegedly damaging Iran's interests. In return, Tehran's allies and proxies target Israel's allies throughout various positions in the Middle East. On January 22nd, IDF warplanes struck targets in the vicinity of the city of Hama in central Syria. The attack was launched from Lebanese airspace. At least seven missiles hit various targets. Most of the missiles, however, were intercepted by Syrian defenses. Reportedly, a civilian family was killed as a projectile struck the heavily populated district of Kazo in Hama City. It is unclear what specifically was targeted by the IDF, but it usually disregards reports of civilian casualties. The missiles that were used in the attack turned out to be the US-made GBU-39 Small Diameter Bombs, or SDB, a type of smart bomb. Following the strikes in Syria, five U.S. supply convoys were attacked in different parts of Iraq. The first attack took place in the southern city of Nasiriya. A third of the supplies were destroyed and a vehicle was damaged. Two of the attacks happened in the central province of Babylon. The remaining two attacks were carried out in El Diwaniya and near Abu Ghraib, west of the capital, Baghdad. There are reports of injuries, no deaths, and some damage to equipment and supplies. Injuries were suffered by members of the U.S.-led coalition in Iraq and not just Iraqi contractors doing their job for a wage. The Islamic resistance in Iraq, Ashab al kaf claimed responsibility for all five attacks and vowed to continue carrying them out. Saudi Arabia, a behind-the-scenes ally of Israel and a very open ally of the U.S., was also subject to an attack. On January 23rd, Saudi defenses intercepted a missile or drone attack over Riyadh. Social media users posted videos of what appeared to be an explosion in the air over the city. The Houthis haven't claimed responsibility for the attack or commented on it. However, according to reports, Iran recently deployed advanced Shahed-136 suicide drones to the Ansar Allah movement in order to assist them in their fight against the Saudi-backed coalition. On the previous day, Saudi Arabia reported that it had foiled an attempted attack by a booby trap boat and another drone attack, but no evidence was provided apart from the claim. The situation in the Middle East is in a sort of vicious cycle. Israel targets reported Iranian positions throughout Syria. Tehran then responds by targeting Israel's allies through its proxies. Neither of the sides directly targets each other, at least not yet. Tel Aviv has even vowed to carry out a strike on Iran's nuclear program if the Biden administration rejoins the Iran nuclear deal. In turn, Iran seems to be rock solid about retaliation.